Hey, 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 it's a brand new day on Gillen Farms, and uh, I've got a couple of little tasks to do today here. Uh, one of them is, uh, if you look right out there, you'll see a bulldozer kind of hid behind that stuff. It's been sitting there for quite a while, and it is not starting, so I've got to figure out what's going on with that. It, it's not even clicking. It's no lights are coming on or anything. So I've got to figure out what's going on with that, whether it's a switch or whether a rat has chewed something. It's out there by that wood pile, so it very well could be a rat, but we'll have to figure that out. Anyway, let me get started here. So, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's hot, y'all. <laughs> so, anyway. Let me go out here and figure out what I gotta have for this, for this dozer. Take care of that first. As you can tell, this has been sitting here for a little bit. There's wood piles here and there, and uh, I am not sure. Let me see this stuff right here, folks. That's poison ivy. <laughs> So let me get through here and first off I have been around behind it and I have opened this up and I have a new it's a circuit tester it's a circuit tester and I know that the last time that I worked on this that the uh, it is so hard to hold things and film at the same time I know the last time that I messed with this, the battery was all up and good. So, yep, battery's hot. Okay, let's go up here and check, check some things up here. All right, I had came out here the other day and I had actually disconnected or taken this cover loose right here. So this cover is loose. And there's an ignition switch right here, which I believe is probably the problem if it's not a problem with uh, rodents. Now a lot of times you'll have a lot of problems with rodents on these machines. So, uh, if that's not it, then we'll work on something else. But normally, whenever you turn this key on right here, this light comes on. Everything is pretty well painted. Maybe right here. Maybe. And I'm not showing any hot wires. All right. Let's charge up, let's charge up the battery. I'm getting no light from any of these. So no power whatsoever coming up here to the ignition switch. All right, further, got further work to do. Further looking around here I am going to pull this battery out and have it tested and make sure that it's okay because I am getting nothing up there. It may not be enough to do anything else. The, the thing that confused me on this, the thing that confused me about it is the fact that um, the light on the dash, the uh, there's a light that'll come on as soon as you turn the key on and it wouldn't even come on. It's just a small little light and any power at all should have lit that up. So anyway, let me get this battery out of here. Got the battery out. It looks like this machine needs a really good power washing and that may be what I do as soon as I get it working. But I've got this battery out and it is heavy. I'm gonna go back through the poison ivy here <laughs> and uh, take it over to the charger and 
see if I can't charge it up. Here out here out of the dozer and bringing an extension cord over here and hooking up the charger. I am not thinking that it is the battery. Uh, it's showing almost fully charged right there. Uh, maybe the fuses. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change out all the fuses, put the battery back in there. Actually, I'm gonna check. I've got a F800 Ford over there and I believe it has the same batteries as this right here. And I may pull one of the batteries out of that truck and put in the dozer. So I'm gonna check that out. This is a really good battery. This is a Napa battery. I know it was put in there in 2019. Looks like November of 2019. And it is 2023, but I still think that's a good battery. But anyway, I'm gonna go over here and check the batteries out in this truck. And if the batteries are good in this truck, I'm gonna, I'm gonna utilize one of them. So let me do that. I'm gonna start this truck. It should start. Just make sure that it's still good. these are top post batteries so they're not going to work so I'm going to have to use that other battery anyway well at least I know these batteries are good all right it is a few hours later and this battery has been on the charger and it looks like it's a, almost 100 percent charged I have some fuses so let's see if we can get this thing going Tighten that back down with my handy pocket wrench. Never go anywhere without it. Let's see if I can put this camera right here. All right, this is the fuse block, and I've already dropped one fuse. So, what I'm going to do is these fuses are so corroded over. And you can't even really tell what's going on with them. So I'm going to put brand new fuses in. So I've got all of them out. It takes four. I've got brand new 20 amp fuses. And I'm going to be putting these in. And these old fuses look horrible. And four. All right, get in there. All right, we got brand new fuses in it. All right, now the test is gonna be whether or not anything lights up up here whenever I turn the key on. And normally when I turn the key on, this light comes on right here. And it comes on. <laughs> Look at that. All right. All right, make sure everything's out of the way. Contact. Yeah. That's awesome. Dozer running again. I'll probably tighten that a little more, and I can. 
the battery hold in. You really don't want the battery in one of these dozers to be, you know, flopping around back here because it just not a good idea. There, these dozers are extremely, you know, they can make some violent moves. So you need to make sure that they're uh, they're tied down real well. All right. This is the panel. It goes in there. There we go. It goes right there. All right, kids, fun fact. I pull down trees with this thing a lot and I use a chain. So one day I was pulling a tree down and uh, the chain broke. So when the chain broke, it hit this, it, it popped back and it caught all this. Looks like somebody shot it with a shotgun. If that would have hit me in the dozer, it would have been an extremely bad day. So anyway, just uh, try to be safe as much as you can. Let's put another panel on on this thing. All right. We got all the fuses changed. which was very helpful. And if you can see this, this is the, this is the dash cover. And I'm gonna put the dash cover back together. This big plate goes right here. Everything on a bulldozer is heavy, everything. So, when you're working on it, there's no light panels. But they're designed this way for a reason. They're designed to be extremely tough. You know, think of tank tough. That's how tough a bulldozer is. I mean, to take five 3 8 bolts to hold just this little cover down here, right here, that tells you how tough they want these things to be. All right, that's on there. All right, let's move around to the back and put the fluid in it. If you'll notice right here, we're down on our fluid. So, have to put some fluid in it. And I have got a brand new jug of it right here. And like I said, I apologize because we don't have any good light. What I'm using is this uh, Promax. It's basically a uh, premium uh, tractor hydraulic fluid on this. You have to pop these up. Pull that up and you can unscrew it. Then there is a, that's water in there. So I'm letting that water out. Then you have to pull this up and that pops that hole open. So now it's open. So I'm gonna start filling it up. Recorder. I'm gonna call it good. Need to put this stuff back in the back here. My grease gun for greasing the tracks and my crescent wrench. All right, contact. Beautiful.
transmission pressure is up. Here we go. First move in a couple of months. It's been sitting here a little while, folks. We got it out now. Let me take it and clean it up minutes ago. I mentioned to you guys using the grease gun to take care of the uh, slack in the track. So the way you do that is there's a plug right here. You take this plug out. Got a little ecosystem growing on the dozer here. Anyway, you take that little plug out. And there's a grease cert in there. And you put that on the grease cert. And then watch this track. It's that tra track rising. What it's doing is this. There's a hydraulic in here. It's pushing grease back in there. And popping this out and I had all of this replaced just a few months ago because it was not holding and it appears to not be holding again all that well it's still usable but you have to go through a lot of grease that is about right. So I'm just going to pop that back off of there. Put this back in. But I can see I can see residuals of some grease right here. And that to me tells me that this is pushing some grease out of this area right here. And like I said, I've totally replaced all of that or had it replaced. I have fixed that myself two times and I didn't put new parts in it. I just took it apart, repacked it. But this time I took it to a shop and at great cost, I had them replace that and it's leaking again. So, and it's always been this track this the other track on the other side i've never had any issue with ever and i know it's not pitting on that shaft because that shaft is brand new that's in there so i don't know anyway yep i'm gonna get the pressure washer out and i am going to pressure wash this thing probably in the morning all right it is the next day i am uh getting ready to go out here and and do some things that uh, i started doing yesterday and then it just got too late i got some calls and things like that so anyway it's time to get the day started so let's let's get going all right let's see here uh, yeah. yeah all right we're going to go around here and uh, what I have done is I have actually, I'm going to do some power washing today. I've got, for one thing, the birds, they get in this tree right here and they've gotten all over our car. So I'm, I got to, I'm going to clean that up. The other thing is, is the dozer. It's ne it doesn't get very much love as far as washing and things like that so i think i'm going to wash the dozer today it uh you know it's set around and it's uh you know, got some birds building nest up in there and stuff like that so this time it got a little bit of love today got a, kind of like an ecosystem growing down in here and stuff like that because i haven't 
I haven't really done anything with it in a in a couple of months. It's getting ready to have to go to a uh, to do some work. Uh, I've got a uh, I've got to clean up around our hay field with it. Um, so, yeah, things to do. Anyway, let's get started doing this. It's just a matter of breaking it up, knocking it out. Luckily, this stuff is pretty easy to come out right now. A lot of times it'll be in a clay, clay area and it's very difficult to get out. But this is just kind of falling right out. So, knock a little bit of this ecosystem out of here. Yeah, this stuff's just falling apart. Sometimes you can really work at this, and I mean work. actually pretty clean for normal all right I think we can start power washing I think we can blow it right off there with the power washer feeling I'm gonna have to go over here and rinse it off because the I bet yeah some of it's blown back over here kind of running off the end of this floor pad but it's much better than it was yep it's almost ready to go to work so anyway let's move on to something else now more stop before I can go home um, we have a hay field, so I'll show you that when we get there.
All right, and I finally made it home for the day. It is a hot one. And uh, anyway, so cutting hay Monday. If you like this type of video, like and subscribe, and I'll continue to bring more content in the future as available. And as always, everybody, God bless.